What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. I am back with another product review. This time it is a portable backup generator by a company called Chafon. Now I was sent this product free of charge by the manufacturer in exchange for a review video, but that does not buy a positive review. I am going to give you my unbiased and unfiltered comments, both positive and negative, about this product. Chafon is a Chinese company and they currently offer two sizes of portable backup generators, this being the larger of the two. This product is marketed as an uninterruptible power supply, however, at a price point of 349 US dollars, there are much better UPSs on the market already. No, the value of this product is in its portability and in the other functions that it brings to the table. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we have inside. The first thing that jumps out is a USB adapter cable that has multiple charging adapters for various types of devices. Next is a bag with a whole bunch of different cords and cables in it. And the sheer number of cables shows how versatile this product really is. Obviously there's a power cable to connect it to the wall. And then a set of alligator clips that you can use to jump start your car. I'm not going to test that feature in this video, but it is nice to have that cable for that capability. It did take me a few minutes to figure out where to put that cable, but there is a rubber flap that reveals where you plug that adapter in. Next is a cigarette lighter adapter cable that would allow you to recharge this in the car. And then there's a 12 volt cable that has some bare leads on the end that would allow you to recharge with any 12 volt source. And then one of my favorite features in cables is one that will allow you to plug in MC4 connectors to recharge with a solar panel. And then it includes a 12 volt DC output cable there that you can plug into one of the four 12 volt DC 3 amp output connections. And then the aforementioned USB adapter cable. Most companies ship lithium ion products half charged, so the first thing that I did was plug it in to charge it up. So the first thing that I want to test is this Medusa cable. It has adapters for almost every kind of small electronic device you can think of. So I'm going to use one of them to charge my Android phone and another one to charge my Apple iPad. I'm pretty sure it'll charge both of them at the same time, but the real question is whether it will allow at least one of them to fast charge. And to my surprise it worked, and my Android phone was still fast charging. The next thing I wanted to test really quickly was this flashlight in the front. The specifications say it's only a 1 watt light. So how useful could that be? While it isn't very bright, it could be useful in an emergency situation and one watt would last a very long time on that battery. The next thing I wanted to test out was the AC power production of this generator. This is listed as a 500 watt generator with a peak of 1000 watts. So for my testing purposes, I grabbed my kilowatt meter which will show us exactly how many watts we're consuming. And the first thing that we're going to test is this box fan here, which will put on a low speed setting, which will simulate a fairly modest load. So this fan is consuming about 48 watts on average. So I'm going to turn it on and let it run and then time how long it takes for the power to run out. This generator is rated for 346 watt hours. In the end, we fell a little bit short of that at only 288 watt hours. So the manufacturer must have calculated the capacity of the battery at a lower run rate. With the battery fully discharged, it was a great time to test how long it would take to recharge this device on house power. And after five and a half hours, it was fully recharged. With the generator fully recharged, it was time to try a bigger load. So I hooked it up to my PlayStation and TV and ran it until it stopped. In this configuration, under a higher load of 278 watts, the generator only ran for 45 minutes. At that run rate, we only get 208.5 watt hours. And that makes sense because of Poikert's law, which tells us that as amperage increases, battery capacity decreases. So with the generator again depleted, I wanted to test out how well it would recharge under solar power. So I used the MC4 adapter cable that came with it and hooked it up to a 100 watt solar panel and let it rip. This actually surprised me as it only took 4 hours and 15 minutes to recharge as opposed to the 5 and a half hours it took under house power. So with the generator fully recharged once again, it was time to test a really big load. So I grabbed a space heater and plugged it into the wall so that we could see what kind of load it would try to put on the generator. Obviously this is going to exceed the capacity of the generator, but it ramps up slowly so I thought it might have a chance of running for a few minutes. So I hooked up the heater to the generator, turned it on, and it ran for a few seconds before an alarm sounded and then it shut off. So I don't know how they rate that 1000 watt peak, but it doesn't last long. So in conclusion, there are some great things about this device. It is very portable, has a handle, it's very lightweight. I do love that it can be charged with 12 volt DC solar or through your car. 
It has lots of uses from jump starting your car to acting as an uninterruptible power supply. And finally, it's very easy to use. It comes with all the right cables, everything's pretty well labeled, and you don't have to refer constantly to the instructions on how to do things. But there are also some not so great things about this device. The biggest one to me is the price point. At 349 US dollars, you can almost buy a 2000 watt inverter generator for that price. And finally, I feel it is a little bit overrated on its capabilities. To get the true 346 watt hour rating, you would have to only use a couple amps of power. So that might be fine for recharging your cell phone or your tablet, but there's a lot of other cheaper devices for that. Overall, I would recommend this product to anyone who wants a silent indoor power solution that can easily be recharged with solar. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in purchasing this product, there's an Amazon link in the video description.